He's one of the most dynamic, high-demand comedians in the business. Josh Wolf did his first stand-up show when he was just 15 years old. 15? His stock has wow. risen steadily since, Mike. Yeah, what we're trying to say is kind of a big deal right here. Josh, <laughs> how you doing, buddy? Good, how are you? Hello. Thank you for having me very well, much. Good to see you. My parents did not like that very first show, that 15 when I was 15. They uh, were the subject, the weren't they? They drove me to the show. They, uh, they were the subject because when I went, my, um, did you, you did a little research, huh? I did. My, it was a real uh, stand-up show. I it mean, was a stand-up show. Stand I had always, you know, wanted to try it, and my parents were like, we'll take you, and I was like, great, and I asked the person, well, what should I talk about? And he said, talk about what you know, and the only thing I knew were my parents, yeah. and my parents um, have terrible gas problems, <laughs> so for like 10 minutes, I, all I did was tell stories about that, and uh, the audience was dying, and I just looked in the front, and my parents were like this. <laughs> I told one story about how my dad pulled over on the highway once and told my mom, pulled over, put the car in park, and we were on the side of the highway. The car was zing, zing, zing. Like, uh, put the car in park. And he puts the car in park. That's what it was. It was up here then, right? right. Puts the car in park. And he goes, get out. And she goes, what? And he goes, get out. You're killing us. And so she gets out of the car, and he goes, what? She goes, what am I supposed to do? And he goes, I don't know, but walk it off. <laughs> So she walked up and down the side of the highway while we just sat on the side with the windows down, like oh, with like dogs with our head out the window. But so that's what I did for the first. And and my parents, my the the people in the crowd loved it. My the car ride home, the car ride there was lots of chatting. They were like, "Good luck, we're so proud of you. Good luck." And the car ride home was silent. My dad pulls into the driveway and he again puts it in park up here. Puts it in park and turns the car off and there was a beat of silence and he goes, you're going to have to find your own ride next time. And I was like, yep. <laughs> totally get it. Totally get it. Yep. But was your dad funny too? It seems like the way you tell the story, was he a funny guy? No. Completely no. stoic. Stoic. Um, but, you know, it, 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 he was a teacher and, and, and yeah. uh, school superintendent, so no humor at all. <laughs> right. So he was serious when he told your mom to get out of the car. Uh, dead <laughs> serious. <laughs> Are What's you kidding? Funny is this bowel movement thing resurfaces with you <laughs> and your now wife yeah. and your first date. You had a, a, an accident, but it helped affirm it, uh, your it, feelings it for her. An accident? Yeah, <laughs> it was. It would be weird if I had done it on purpose. <laughs> Just to test her out. But listen, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to test you out a little bit here. Yeah, I, I, I thought I sneezed, um, but I'm a mouth sneezer. <laughs> so I didn't want to. Ah! Add in her face, so instead of that, I plugged my nose on our first date, and I'd never done that before. And when I plugged my nose, uh, instead of sneezing, something it, it, it came out the other end. Happened. Yeah, what I happened? sneezed out of a different part of my body, is what happened. <laughs> <laughs> is what happened. Uh, it wasn't a situation where I could go, Woo -hoo -hoo, caught that in time. <laughs> it was a situation where I was like, I did, did am gonna be here until this restaurant shuts other, down because I'm not something had happened. There's no way you could not have known. There, it, at first, I thought, I'm, I'm playing this off pretty well. Because she got up and went to the bathroom, and I was like, I think I'm playing it off all right, I think. But, I'm, but there was she enough. Knew. Uh, everybody, yeah, knew. everybody knew. There was enough. It, it, there was enough. Like, I, at a point, somebody at the table next to us literally leaned over. He was like, are you leaving soon? <laughs> <laughs> Be, yeah, because I guess the, the uh, aroma had uh, started to, it was not great. The waiter had stopped coming to the table. He was like, that nah, is not happening anymore. I don't care and what the tip is. Your chest, right? You wanted to get out of there, right? I wanted new underwear before I wanted to check. I wanted a, I wanted a. So how'd you get out? What, what, how'd this end and up? And why did she end? stay with you? W w for the rest of the date? Forever. Oh, forever, <laughs> I think. You know, I had to redeem myself. Uh -huh. So the second date was not the same. I didn't, it's not like I did that on every date. Go, she must really like this. Yeah. I'm going to do it on every date. <laughs> no, that's not what. <laughs> did she see you with your shirt off? And that's when she said, she, I got to stick around. She has. I, I spent the well, rest of the day. As most Amer America has, by well, the way. Well, because Mary's been talking this. about this picture. So for I a Google while your now. name. Mm -hmm. And like the second phrase that pops up is Josh Wolf shirtless. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what is this so story there's with Josh this Wolf on Google, and then there's Josh yeah. Wolf shirtless. What's yeah. this all about? That's hey there. just me. How you doing? What were you doing here? Uh, <laughs> Chelsea had me naked a lot on that show. You seem uncomfortable. Uh -huh. uh, I, you know, when there's millions of people yeah. looking at you with your shirt off, uh -huh. you, you know, you seem to you be a little more self-conscious about <laughs> yeah. it. Do you wax or shave, or um, how do you handle it? Did you? We can talk about it after if you want. Well, <laughs> 
We've Mike, talked about this Mike is Italian, and he he's well, always I, trying to keep I things up, you know? you know? Well, you, you have, have to manscape. You've got to manscape. You gotta trim it up. I mean, are you married? I am married, yeah. So, you you know, it, it can't just be a one-sided trim it up situation. You well, can't. She, she likes it. She likes trimmed it up? Trim it up. Of when course, you, you can't look like you've got Aretha Franklin on a leg lock. Like, you can't look like, you can't. Do you know what I mean? You no. can't look like that. That's not safe to do. Can you say that on morning television? I'm just saying, you can't, you have to, it has to be an equal opportunity situation. Yeah. So you can't expect her to be trimmed up and looking good, and you're just some dude who's, who can't, hasn't really seen his feet. I really thought we were talking about chest hair. No. Or well, oh, I we were we talking about chest hair? That's oh, what I that too. Yeah. yeah. That too. yeah. Oh, that's what I <laughs> Oh, chest hair, yes. Yeah, Aretha, chest. Aretha chest. was oh, on my chest. chest. She my was on my fault. chest. I was petting her. Right, leg. yes. Chest. Hey, uh, uh, Larry the Cable Guy. <laughs> 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 you, you opened a lot this morning. <laughs> Why? No, it's just took a turn. Who, who hey. said that? I can't believe it. <laughs> oh, sorry hey, about that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Larry's are going, look at I'm done here. I'd like to turn it over the tables and stuff. But you, uh, work, with, you work with Larry a lot. Yeah, He's a good friend of the Larry? show. Yeah, yeah, are we done that? talking about we're being here? Yeah, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> this is a segue. We call this a segue. You, got, <laughs> you were like, somebody's in the air going, get out of here. I get just, out of there. I just felt like my temperature was rising. Bail, bail, pull the chute. Uh, yes, Larry the Cable Guy. I toured with him for many years. One of my favorite people in the entire world. We had this world. college sports thing in common because he's, a, you know, he loves college football, Nebraska specifically. Yes. You like everything, don't you? Yeah, I do. I'm, mm -hmm. you know, listen, I'm from the Northeast, so you know, we're more pro sports oriented than there's we are. There's not a lot of good college football up in the Northeast. No, no, no. no. It's because there's so many pro teams too, mm -hmm. right? But here, and I went to a Nebraska game with him. It was, the, and I've been to um, a ton of pro and college. Parks and, and, and stadiums. That was the best experience I ever had. It was amazing, amazing, wow. amazing. Yeah. I also performed with him a couple years ago. He did that huge show in, in Cornhusker Stadium, Memorial Stadium, mm -hmm. yeah. right? And yeah. so I, I opened for him during that show, and it's fifty-three thousand. That was great. Who was it? You know who sells out many tickets? Nobody. <laughs> right. That was. I felt like it was a U2 yeah, concert. Uh -huh. It was absolutely right. yeah. amazing. We Stand love up. him. 53,000 yeah. So Josh is at the Funny Bone talking about Aretha Franklin and other things <laughs> throughout the weekend. Five shows, two tonight, two tomorrow, yep. one on Sunday. The number there, that's the Bone phone. Or you can log on to FunnyBoneOmaha.com to get your tickets to see him. Oh. And another friend of ours now <laughs> since yesterday, Trisor, right. because she's just dynamic, Wait, too. You, she's from Kentucky, and you're from I Kentucky. I love her. You're the two people who, who can horrible. read who got out of the state. Yeah. And, and wear that, shoes. And, and, and wear shoes. You have shoes. Low-hanging fruit. Just start mm, plucking. Do you, you know? have all of your fingers and toes? I do, but well, my teeth aren't Any real. extra ones? No. Okay, well, then you're good. Any? You're <laughs> it's been really great to have you here. She did replace her teeth when she got out. I did.